Doctors are warning parents of RSV. It is a respiratory virus that infects the lungs and breathing passages. As 8 News Now reporter Joshua Piguera explains, RSV cases have more than doubled in several states, including ours, placing a strain at area hospitals. Brady Sahakian is new to parenting. If the kid is out in public, wipe his hands down, you know, make sure everything that he comes in contact with is clean. Uh, try and stay away from, you know, random strangers. His two-year-old son has avoided a severe cold so far, but he's already thinking of his son's preschool when he's old enough to enroll. A clean environment, you know, no kids running around with runny noses, that kind of thing. Dr. Michael Tenby of Centennial Pediatrics says RSV infections are high and arriving earlier in the year. We saw a lot of it in October and it's continuing full force now even though it's earlier in the year and it's not so cold yet. RSV symptoms are similar to a cold but more severe. Infants experience wheezing. CDC data shows each year 58,000 children under the age of five are hospitalized with RSV. It can lead to severe bronchitis or pneumonia for those in that age bracket. Here at Hillendale, they've been lucky that kids have not been sick with RSV or any type of cold-like symptoms. That's because the director says they prioritize cleanliness, hand washing is number one, they wipe down counters, and they also have hand sanitizers handy as a backup plan. Tammy Gates of Hillendale Child Development Center says staff pay attention to kids when they seem to be getting sick. Because of the small groups, they have time to clean, they have time to sanitize, they have time to follow through on hand washing. And that matters. That matters a lot. Daycares recommend if your child isn't feeling good, keep them home so they don't affect other kids. Joshua Figueroa, 8 News Now.